Hi and welcome to the Shave Tank. <clears throat> and today we have another shave review of uh, European cream. And so this is part of the European series where I got a lot of European shaving cream samples. And this is again a sample I got from shave-.com. So if you want to have a lot of samples, go to shave-.com. I'm not getting anything. Uh, for advertising their web page, but uh, I find just find it a great idea that you can order up a lot of samples and choose for yourself what you want. And today I have a cream that I have actually had in my den, but uh, didn't get around to reorder it. I actually have very fond memories of it. And it's the St. James of London Pepper and Lime. So a lot of people are very fond of St. James of London and we'll see how that goes. Quite a while since I've used one, but yeah, this is... It has a very natural peppery and lime scent. Definitely good amount of pepper in there. And it's not so sweet as some uh, lime scents. So this is definitely a more uh, aromatic direction of the scent. Really, really nice. Really like that. Uh, consistency, it's a soft cream. That's with all St. James of London and I'm going to take a sample out of here and put that in my shaving mug. Put that sample back in the drawer. Gonna put this sample I've got out here in the mark. This should be plenty, probably a little bit too much, but yeah, we'll see. So, yeah, a little bit much I've used here, but yeah. That's the way, and we are going to use the plisson with the ebony handle of course fake ebony uh, ivory I wanted to say not ebony so wet the brush and level this up and let us up very quickly and you get this very rich, peppery, aromatic scent immediately out of the mug. Can take some water. So don't be shy on the water. The St. James definitely can take a little bit of water. No problem there. It's also not easy to get too much water into it. It's very easy to lather, very easy to handle. Already got a very nice cream here, but I'm going to add a little bit more water to get a little bit more sheen and glide to it. And I think pasta always says that you have to look for this very creamy, yogurty consistency, see? But it has to have this slight, very slight wet sheen to it, so you know that it's ready. And of course this is a, in my book, one of the top creams out there. As I remember it. And I probably will restock the whole can also because it, also the smell is awesome. It's really an aromatic peppery scent, not too overpowering with the lime, really like that. St. James of London definitely in my favorite list of British soaps. And there you go. Awesome, really really nice. I think this will work nicely like that. Let's wet the face. Ah. 
and it's so creamy as you can see and very cushiony too So it does not only have the slickness, which is already really good, it also has the cushion. So protection wise, awesome. We're gonna use the above the tie S1 wash cut plate in there. Second shave on the wash cut here. And this goes very easily. Glide, cushion, everything. This is where St. James really shines. Well, the scent is really good. I really like the scent of it. It's not an overpowering scent. So it's definitely a weak scent in terms of scent strength. I really liked how it smells, but it's not as scented as, for example, some of the US artisan soaps. So like uh, Soap Commander or Katie's, they definitely have a lot more strength in general than this one. So this goes really easy off the bat. Nice first pass. Protection everything over the top. I did a hot towel beforehand, but I used no pre-shave and the performance is just amazing here. Might actually also use this for my next head shave. I had very good memories of it, but I didn't think that it is that good. It's really awesome. Performance wise, this is a really awesome cream. Really nice feel here. And you can see with how fast I'm going that this is going really nicely. Absolutely stunning second pass here. And you already get this really famous famous excuse me, talking into the towel. Uh, St. James of London post J feel. 
because it's really such a nice and slick feel after the shave. So we'll do a third pass. It's already very smooth, but yeah, what the heck. Also, the soap is not drying down on me. All the glide and cushion is still there. And we go against the grain. Got some questions in my last video. If this is really against the grain, yes it is. See how slick that is. Of course the razor is also top notch, but uh, the slickness of this cream is really hands down totally awesome. And the lime and pepper scent really is growing on me. I think I had uh, the mandarin the last time I had St. James, St. James in my den. But this lime and pepper, really nice scent. Very nice. <clears throat> so, gurgling incoming. And we go for some cold mountain water. Not so cold this time of year, but yeah. It'll do. Still plenty of cool. Yes, very nice. And the post shave feel of that. It's just fantastic. I even could probably leave it at that, but since it's so hot, I want some refreshment of an aftershave. And since this was a lime scent, I'm gonna go with blue spice to finish this off. Very nice. So, conclusions. Performance wise, this cream is absolutely top of the line. Glide, cushion, protection, post J feel. I'd say 
9 to 10. I even would say it, if you combine all the uh, factors and you watched my past reviews, it would even beat uh, Martin de Condre in that direction. Of course, the scent, while very good, it's a very nice lime, aromatic, peppery scent. Um, it's not the complex, most complex scent in the world. And the scent strength is more in the medium direction. Uh, Price-wise, I think a jar of this is about uh, 20 bucks. It's not the cheapest in the world, but for this performance it's an okay price in my book. A lot cheaper than uh, some other soaps that are not performing on this level. So, definitely if you want a very good top-of-the-line cream, go for St. James of London. Can't go wrong. Two thumbs up from me here. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And see you soon next time. Let's all high five!